and welcome to another insightful episode of Listen to Your Body. Today we are going to understand an important health topic that affects many of us as we age. I am talking about insulin resistance. If you are over 30 and listening in, this one is especially for you. So let's dive in. Insulin resistance may not be apparent in the early stages, but there are some signs you can look out for. The most common ones include feeling tired after meals, experiencing frequent hunger pangs or cravings, and struggling to lose weight even with a healthy diet and exercise. Also, if you notice recurring infections or delayed recovery of wounds, pay attention to these clues. They might be indicating something important about your health. Now, what exactly is insulin resistance? In simple terms, it means that your body cells are not responding well to insulin signals. Insulin is a hormone that helps your body use sugar for energy. When you eat, your blood sugar levels rise and insulin tells your cells to absorb that sugar. But with insulin resistance, your cells don't listen to insulin, leading to higher sugar levels in your blood. Insulin resistance can have significant impacts on your overall health. It increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other health concerns associated with persistent high blood sugar levels. It can also affect your blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Moreover, when insulin resistance occurs, it can result in buildup of fat around the abdomen. This in turn worsens the situation as the increase in abdominal fat intensifies insulin resistance, creating a vicious cycle. Paying attention to insulin resistance is essential because it's a warning sign that your body is not handling blood sugar properly. The good news is that in early stages, it can be reversed or managed through lifestyle changes. So catching it early can prevent more serious health issues down the road. Insulin resistance is a serious condition that affects many adults. Men over the age of 30 are more likely to face this issue, thus warranting extra caution. If you recognize any of the signs we discussed, or if you have any concerns about your health, please consult your health care provider for further evaluation. Remember, small lifestyle changes can make a significant difference. Adopting a balanced diet, getting regular exercise, managing stress, and getting enough sleep can all help in improve your insulin sensitivity and overall health. Thank you for watching, and I hope the information was helpful. If you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover in future videos, please leave a comment below. And if you know someone who needs to watch this, share this video with them and help them listen to their body well. Stay healthy and take care.